For the record, today is Tuesday, December 4th, 2007. We are at the Charlevoix Public Library in Charlevoix, Michigan, working on our Charlevoix Oral Traditions Project. We are recording memories of veterans and Charlevoix elders. I am Judith Ivan, Assistant Adult Service Librarian, who is doing the interviewing, and helping me is videographer Rick Pierpont of Pierpont Productions in Harbor Springs, Michigan. Where were you living when you joined the, the service? Arcadia, Michigan. Arcadia, Michigan. Was working on the car ferries. Oh, okay. Right after the Depression, I graduated in 36, and there wasn't many jobs around. Right. <laughs> it was tough going. So you were, when you, you must have been, what, 19 when you joined? 18? More than that, in the 20s. I'm 21 20. now. Okay, so you were in your 20s then. Yeah. Okay. You got the date I joined there. Yeah, you're right. I was born November the 9th. I graduated from high school in 36. So what service did you, were, were you drafted or how did you get it? Well, when I was, started that draft, I was, they had my name down Barron's for the first one. So I went, then they took these guys that they wanted to get to, from Man of Steve, they were in trouble all the time. Mm -hmm. So they were in that or jail. So I, what that said, that was, now you're going in the second draft. They, they said, well, we might have enough, but I quit my job then. And I said, so well, I'll put my name down. So uh, I, I went in the second uh, draft of it. There was lawyers and everything else in there when I went in there. All started right from the bottom, too. <laughs> well, everybody was at the same level. Right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, everybody going in. So, so you, you were in the Army, right? Yeah. Ordnance Step on Supply. Okay. And where did you, when did you ship out? Where did you serve? What? In the Pacific or in the Pacific? I went. Uh, they went to uh, on the Burma Road. I went on one over one boat, ten thousand of us. Wow! And that, uh, and we was in Camp Anza, and we were, they had us all out the field. That's where I got hurt the first time. We, we were all out there. When we, I was a staff sergeant, so they were pl playing ball. And the guy swung a bat and it hit another bat and whipped last. And I was, uh, I was out from 10 o'clock in the morning, they woke me up, and I didn't wake up till 6 o'clock that night. I don't know if I was dead or what. Wow. And, but the, we, the next day we went in the boat. We went from L.A. to Wellington, New Zealand. It took us 37 days, 10,000 10, of us. We couldn't get drinking water or that, or that to go in there. Wow. And so many of us. Then it took 40 nurses, so I was supposed to get a good place to stay, but we got didn't get it on kind of nurses. I had to put in one whole separate deal. So. Yeah, because you had been hurt on in just. That didn't make any down. difference. The staff sergeant they gave, gave boss gave a better rating. Kind of gave him a break. Okay. And then we went. We didn't have enough oil there, so we went in that boat from there to. Uh, uh, Aust Aust Perth, Australia. We was good to get the oil there. That's the first bath I got in close to 40 days. They told us we could go in the sw uh, ocean swimming if we took our clothes off and wore our shorts. Yeah. So, boy, it didn't take me long to get in there. Yeah, I, cl I clipped the hair because it completely off. And, and, then for, we were there for a couple of days. And we was going to uh, Bombay, uh, Calcutta, but with too many Japs, they said submarines. So we went to Bombay, India. That's where huh. we got ended up being at that time. And we was there for two days. And they put a set of out sub hot, but I don't know where it was. I couldn't even tell you where it was anymore. We was there for two days. And they put it in the sun, a narrow gauge railroad. Huh. And it, 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 we had seats about that wide, two at the seat. I it was a week or two getting up there. We had to get off the train and want to go across a big river. And they put us on there and we went on the other train. They took us up, it was called the town by the name of Lido, right? The start of the Burma Road. That was our headquarters. Okay. And what did you do there? I was a mess sergeant by trade, uh, but, but we didn't have much food, so I done whatever other work too besides what's so well. They cut our company in half, 
because we wanted us to use people working from India. Mm -hmm. So uh, we we stayed right leaders. That was our headquarters. Then we uh, made had places where they build a road. We shipping stuff and trucks up there, getting the start to the Burma Road, and we had. I think we had more trucks in, from here from Traverse City and bulldozers and ammunition. We had. I know we had a lot more war than every uh, ammunition. They even had the whole second, uh, uh, first World War. Wow. And, so your company was building the road. No, they had engineers build the road. We furnished the supplies. We furnished oh. the cars and ammunition and bulldozers and tanks. Mm -hmm. And. But if we get the first tanks up there to Burma, when Murrow's Marauders come in there, we was in combat for six six months. We didn't have no aeroplanes or we had any aircraft gun or nothing there. So we uh, started, they were, they were there ahead of us, but when we got there, well, there was a case of corned beef when we got up to our place and a box of hardtack with, filled with bugs mm -hmm. and five little cans of peaches <laughs> and a big box of tea. And three alphas that, well, I drank the water. What could you do? You had to drink the water. Yeah. And so it was a well up there, cold water. You could go sit under that and take a shower or if you want to. But we drank it. I drank it. And I found out the doctor come up there and said, you know what you're drinking? I said, what else what can we do? He never gave us the money to put it in our canteen. And so I looked, it was filled with worms. And I got filled with worms. Uh -huh. I got back to the States. I, I found that out. <laughs> but so then we. What did you What did you feed people if you had What did you end up? Well, did, whatever we got the English rations for a while, that wasn't too good. Huh. Uh, got uh, some eggs. We got we got an egg a piece. When we got up to cook, well, there's still chickens and everything else, and we threw it away. We had to eat as corn beef for about the first two weeks and hard tack and tea, yeah. and. Uh, we wanted English rations, and we didn't even have any trucks. We had an English lorry to get around in a little bit. Uh -huh. We couldn't eat any of their food because there's a, they use people for fertilizer too hot. Uh -huh. I only got fresh meat two, twice in two, uh, two, three and a half years, about three and a half years that I was there. Uh -huh. So how long were you in Burma in that area? I went there right there until I was on my way out of rotation. We have to send that up at there. Uh, in the back of the yes. tell me, uh, so I started, I went to, I left there on rotation, and the German war ended when I was in Calcutta, mm -hmm. so, yeah. and the German war ended, so they shipped us Karachi, they wanted to see how quick they could get 100 men back, and I was one of them, and they flew me home from Karachi in two days and two nights. Mm -hmm. I, Went from a, a box car to a C-17, a C box car, and that went through Cairo, Casablanca, we went over to Panama Canal, so <coughs> could see that in Africa, and hit hit New York in two days, in the Azores, and went to hit New York in two days and two nights. That was quite a shock, right out of the jungle. I went through three monsoons. Wow. I flew. Flew uh, over the. Well, I got four days vacation. Met some of the flying tigers and everything else. And well, our master said that's the only vacation I got was four days. And it was whole, full time I was there. And we uh, they got when they wanted some K rations. Everybody wanted to give them to them. Wanted to <coughs> charge them. And I said, Well, I won't take any money, but they want them for their parachutes. But they got shot down. <coughs> I said, I won't take any money, but I'll get them for you. And give them to you, mm -hmm. so which I did, yeah. and uh, I could have gotten in trouble for it, but I still done it. I figured they, they were entitled to it, mm -hmm. and they said we want to fly, so I flew to China, into China with them. After I got back from Calcutta, I got a three-day fast. I got a replacement where I was going to be going home, so I flew into China and I drove the Burma Road into from where we were Lido up to Burma, and drove it and flew back. And that's you know, I was the last three week I was there. I was had to buy replacement, so I said I had something to do. I drove a, was driving a big semi trailer loaded with ammunition, and heck, I had license to do it. And uh, 
because I learned that at home. My dad, we had trucks and stuff. And we was going, going to come into Lido from the cowboy, and we'd go a big old pipe and hit the truck right in the middle, about a 30 foot pipe. And really? <laughs> hit wow. the truck and scared the heck out of me because if he'd have hit the glass, he'd have been right in there. Yeah. So we, we shot the two, tiger, two pythons in our ammunition dump mm. and a tiger and a leopard. Did you guys ever eat the snake? No, no, uh, no I never trust them. So, well, birds were out as late. Cobras in Calcutta, you have them cobras running around yeah. uh, in the basket, they pray, and then they, uh, I went through all the Burman gates, gates of four days in, in, uh, in, uh, in uh, Calcutta, and in the, in the temples. I went and studied, studied all that. Even went to the one in Burma when they took that. The Japs were in there and they wrecked that one completely. Huh. So, but we, they didn't allow us to go in the bazaars after a while because Americans would have went in there. But what, what could you get in the first place? You couldn't get very much. There I went pretty hungry a lot of times. They got so fed up in corned beef and Vienna sauce. We had four things we got mostly. So show, us, show me the hat you have there. Can you just hold it up and show it to me? The hat, your hat. Yeah. Yeah, just show it to me. Yeah. That way you want it? Yeah, that's perfect. Tell me what it is. That's a VFW hat. I've been aide de camp and for the whole 13th district was commander two years up here. Okay. When, that's when Desert Storm was going on. I took the, got the women, they spoke about that. They had the meetings and that. They had to start their outfit there. That was commander at that time. We left them using VFW. Uh, or nothing. We uh, we gave Bergman Center a lot of money. Did you? Uh, what does aide de camp mean? I'm going. That the, the highest award in the whole 13th district. Okay. And uh, they uh, they offered me a state job, but at that time, right after I I got out of there, I was going to take it at first. I was down there meeting. I wasn't that jacket I had on the other day for mm -hmm. doing that. That was supposed to help to get a lot of meetings up in this district if either we would get that job. But where did your wife spend the war while you were over in? Burma? Well, her dad was was a lighthouse keeper, right here. He started here in Charlevoix, okay. and he was at the point in uh, Beaver Island for years. His name Pelletier. You probably heard of the Pelletier. Yes, sir. And his her mother was her mother was a bros. They had the temp label system in Charlevoix, Korea. Okay. And that. So she stayed in Charlevoix then? No, no, he transferred. I met her up to Frankfurt. Oh, okay. That's when he was a lighthouse. He transferred up there for you, up there for 15 years. Okay. And it was all everybody around, that's all they had to do. They had to go to these dances for 50 cents or a dime and that, and that. So that's where you met them. Met all Frankfurt, Alberta, Arcadia, they had Decima. They were, you pretty, played basketball. Okay. And that. My I come from a pretty big family. I had five brothers and two sisters. Wow. So my dad was doing all around the county, and that so, so, so. Did your brothers go into the war too? I had one brother. Uh, was in, uh, we had four invasions, and uh, and another one was the sea bees, mm. but they they kept him. He was pretty peeved at him. They kept him, they kept him in Honolulu. Now my brother had a brother-in-law that. Was a, a painter that was in Honolulu. They kept him there, but my other brother, he saw a lot of action. He they drafted him, and uh, they needed from Ohio. They needed for him have replaced to help him, <laughs> and that's where he got a hook. So boy, he really he really got it. The artillery outfit. Oh yeah, I'll bet. Oh. Well, when you came home from the war, um. Did you come to Charlevoix, or where did you go? No, I went. I went up to. Uh, I come from Chicago, and I come to Arcadia. Okay. Because I was, I went to East Shore Hotel when I first come up there as a executive chef job at East Shore Hotel in Frankfurt, but that closed. I went to Chicago. Went to school. Tried to buy a house. Couldn't get an apartment. We tried and tried. Yeah. So I stayed with my sister, and she was the one. Joaquin, my wife was with her, her dad, the lighthouse. Okay. They were going to make her move out when I was overseas. I said, "You better not." <laughs> and uh, so we had to put up with that. I, so I, I went to school to be a second chef in the hotels. I'll, I'll cook any 
I don't need any look at a book or anything, any sauce or anything else. Yeah. I've got to be a, a second cook for Fred Harvey's when I was going to school for their main dining room. Uncle Sam, I went to the GI Bill, they, they gave me $200 or something. So uh, I went there to get the experience. Sure. They were only leaving to pay me a dollar an hour. They said they wanted to give me a raise. The government said, if you give them the raise, we're going to take it away from them. Your GI Bill? They take it away from you? Yeah, they oh. take, they'll take the dollar. The, the gave me over a dollar. They was going to take that away too. Huh. So, so I I worked five days there. And I, then I worked a full day on the, uh, after school. I worked from five to nine, mm -hmm. and I made four four bucks. <laughs> and so to get the experience, and then I on a Saturday I, I was off, and Sunday I worked nine hours. Okay. And. and I got got to know that. So then I went to, kept going do that. I go, I'll do ice carving and kind of decorate cakes with sugar work and mm -hmm. like that boards. I had all that make dough, make baskets out of put flowers and roses on them. And, and, and then I I wanted to stop a second the job, so I went the, the other way. But I could do both of them. They do the sun baking what I wanted to, okay. and I so I. Went there and I stayed in the station there for a couple of years and I took a chef a job in one of the big in an hotel for a while and then I went there. Well, so I wanted to be home, so I, so I went to cook these factories for a while. I didn't like that, so so then I went to Breeport Hotel. I stayed there for three years, the top job there because I was I wanted to be home with my family at nights. That's what. Yeah. Some of the big hotels were after me, but I, I said I was worked. I wasn't home. I wanted to spend a little more time with my family. We had one girl, then we had two more children. Yeah. Two, two, two years, so my wife was very busy. Yeah, she sure was. <laughs> so when you were in Burma, did you you said you didn't cook very much, but that's well, where you? Well, what, I was a mess sergeant, but right. uh, we, what do we got? Well, we got we got uh, spam, Vienna sausage. Uh, that stew and uh, whatever else we could. Uh, the whole time, the whole time for three years. Yeah, but we got once we got two meat once. One time we got some dogfish or something, but uh, we never uh, all of those were our rations. They couldn't give good goods any fresh stuff because it's too hot. I went through three monsoons. Mm -hmm. yeah. So did you get to know any of the people, the local people in? Berkeley? Oh yeah. We, well, we got to know some of them. Well, we had five of them working for me. Right, <laughs> right. Because we had to wash your basket that in a half barrel to hot water <laughs> and dip it in there. And so, but the rations weren't too good. After a while, we got some cherries and if I don't know, a few things. We took a, finally we get some canned milk and we, finally we started getting bread. They made bread. We first, when we first went there, we uh, got an Eskimo hut and built it, and built a fire that used potatoes that to get baked bread, and then they cut a slice of bread. It was loaded. The flour there, English flour, was in sacks about like this, 50 pounds or something like that, and loaded with bugs. This crawl, we bake a little. Try to finally we got some screed to get some of them up, but you bake a loaf of bread. Uh, once you cut a slice off, a bill would fly out. Not a lot of it. We thought that was pretty good at times. Yeah, you took what you could get at the time. Yeah, well, what could you? When uh, when quartermaster was uh, right across from us, when they got transportation from us, and we got we I, I got uh, stuff for there like Thanksgiving. We got some canned turkey there at one time or two, uh -huh. and a few things we'd pick up as so we went along. One time we wrestled a couple of cattle, butchered it, and we got in trouble for that. Oh. <laughs> in Burma, you would have. <laughs> because they, they said they were going to plow, they used them for plowing. Sure. So did your unit have any action at all when you were there? We were in combat for six months. Okay, what happened during that time? Well, we all we all survived that. We the, the Gurkhas took care most care of that, but, but we had to carry our rifles. And, but we had to watch out for. But once in a while, I guess a few of them got killed around there. They uh, would come up and threw a hand grenade in the back of their truck and stuff like that. The railroad we were all blocked off all except the block, 
uh, well, we were completely sodded by the Japs, but the Gurkhas took care of that. They put steel up, it's in the trade, so they, had, but they couldn't get the supplies. So we, one guy shot a Jap Zero down with a submachine gun. <laughs> mm. We lost quite a few planes going over that airfield then. Right. Uh, we had the guys, our company said, what done that at first. They'd load planes and they'd open the window and the guys were going around the routes would drop the food off out of the aeroplane with a parachute. Okay. So that's how you got a lot of your supplies. Well, not us, but up the, well, along the highway. Okay. Ours was brought up right up by the railroad, but right. they, okay. we had a, we had the guys started all along the road there. And one side of Lido, we had cars for here to Petoskey, I think, or father, and that with tractors, bulldozers, amphibia, jeeps, everything. Else. And the other side, we had the ammunition. So, what was the objective of your unit? What were, why were you there? To get stuff into China. Okay. The Burma Road to get stuff into China. Then we got to there for a while. What made it so bad? The, the communists had come and steal it on the road, and, <laughs> and uh, that uh, we. Uh, they had, to, they had to watch out for that all the time, too. Mm. A lot of, so slippery, that roads, was, was a powder. Remember years ago how woman's powder box was? That's the way that road was uh, when it was on the A dust flow flew up in the air. Uh, for that, we had to take tanks up there. We put a jeep in front of the tank, and then we, uh, then we pulled it around the corner to get them around the, uh, up, to, up to Burma. Huh. That's the only way we could get the Japs out of the holes and stuff they were in. Okay. Merrill's Broaders done that. they done a terrific job. We, we, kept, we pretty well stationed there, but, but the only thing about it, places like we are, most of them, they got the heck bombed out of them, but we had enough protection we did to get them to do much. Like Germany, the ammunition dumps you know, all their supplies, you know, they got hit pretty hard. Right. Yeah. My first cup, they went to England. The second cup, they went to uh, Italy.